When a lot of people think of alternative health and alternative medicine, they uh, sometimes think of you know snake oil salesmen. But uh, a lot of medical doctors are actually uh, combining their traditional practices that they learned in medical school with some ancient practices that have been around for thousands of years. Stan Gardner is one of those. Uh, Stan, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me and for being here. Tell us a little bit about integrative uh, medicine. Well, I was trained in uh, conventional medicine. I've spent 20 years in the practice of medicine, in conventional medicine, and then just got disenchanted with the whole uh, establishment and how it was run. I've spent the last 10 or 15 years actually in alternative or integrative complementary medicine. And uh, what does that mean, uh, complementary medicine? Well, it was really thinking outside the box of the conventional medicine thinking. Within the box of conventional medicine thinking really are is the uh, American Medical Association, the pharmaceutical industry, and the insurance industry. And all of them are kind of organized together and functioning as a block. And yet outside that block of thinking is a tremendous amount of information and uh, much more science-based and actually within the practice of conventional medicine. I think people would be surprised to hear that because they think of uh, alternative medicine as, you know, herbs and, uh, you know, aromas and uh, all kinds of other things that maybe don't, you know, that people have just sort of uh, picked up over the years through, you know, anecdotal evidence. But you're saying there's a lot of science behind it. Well, there's actually more science behind the alternative medicine field than there is within the conventional medicine field. Uh, a study was done about 20 years ago by the Institute of Medicine. It's a, a third-party group looked at conventional medicine, the, the philosophies, the practices that they do, and how much of that was science-based. And at the end of that study, they reported that approximately 20% of the procedures and uh, traditions that are in conventional medicine are science-based and 80% are not. Now my um, observation within the alternative or um, integrated medicine field, because we are outside the box, we actually have to be much more scientifically based and I suspect that 80 to 90 percent of what we do is very science-based and much less of it um, 10, 20 percent is, uh, doesn't have the science base, although it works and what, in integrative medicine we have safer and very effective things that work, especially as, as we think about the uh, degenerative diseases, which really are 95 percent of the adult diseases today are degenerative. This is the area of strength of uh, integrative medicine and conventional medicine really their strength is with trauma with acute disease that kind of aspect but the really chronic diseases is where we shine and uh, give me some examples of uh, some ways that uh, alternative medicine can help with uh, with a chronic disease well the really all the chronic diseases can be helped with what we do. With cardiovascular disease, we have uh, chelation therapy, of which a $15 million study is co being completed at the present time. But there was a lot of research about what chelation therapy does and the ability to squelch free radicals, and which is at really the core of vascular disease. Conventional medicine claims that uh, cholesterol is at the core of vascular disease, and there really is no science behind that. The research shows that it's an inflammatory condition and our strength or one of our strengths is really working with the immune system and working with inflammatory conditions to try to reduce that. So as we reduce the basic cause and then do some treatment with chelation therapy and with a number of other um, options that we have, we can actually uh, reverse that. Now, uh, a couple of the things that you're going to be speaking about here at the Earthwell Festival are uh, sleep and uh, diet, and uh, those things seem uh, pretty, pretty basic uh, human needs. Well, there's probably about seven or eight uh, items that I've identified that all of us should be doing, and we can really get considerably more healthy if we would do those things. And two of those are fixing our diet, and very undervalued is the uh, need and uh, for quality sleep and not just laying down and waking up but really getting the sleep that we need. 
Um, outside of those seven things, some of us continue to get sick, some of us continue to have problems, and so there are some uh, modalities within the realm that the physicians have access to that can help people beyond those basic seven things. But if people don't fix their diet, they really don't get off the garbage food, the sugar, the processed food, and move into really getting the energy and the nutrients into their cells, then they're not going to, to get better from our standpoint. They need to be residing within conventional medicine where they use drugs and surgery to really control the body. We try to work with fixing and getting the energy and getting the nutrients so the cells can actually fix themselves. It's a fascinating a bit, of, a bit of information. If people do want more or uh, want to come uh, talk to you one-on-one, uh, -on -one, how can they get more information? Well, I have an office in Riverton, Utah, which is South Salt Lake, called Keys to Healing Medical Center. And they can call uh, the office number, 801-302-5397. I do have a website. That the, everybody has a website today. So if they really want to know my philosophies, what I stand for, um, alternatives to drugs and surgery, they can get on my website, stangardnermd.com. S-T-A-N-G-A-R-D-N-E-R-M-D.com and they can, there's a whole raft of information in the archives. They can look up things for their condition, but they can really get a sense for what I represent. Fantastic. Dr. Stan Gardner, thank you so much for taking the time. Well, thank you.